live from downtown Port of Spain. This is the TV6 Weekend News. Good evening and welcome to the TV6 Weekend News. I'm Michelle Ann Awai in the headlines. The Ministry of Education announces that schools in Trinidad will remain closed on Monday. Floods force evacuations across the country as water continues to rise. And in sport, Germany score a late equaliser against Spain to stay alive at the East Trinidad and now under flood water and more adverse weather is expected overnight. We begin with news tonight that all schools in Trinidad will be closed tomorrow. In a media release issued at around 6 o'clock this evening, the Ministry of Education said it has been monitoring updates and received guidance from the Meteorological Office and the Ministries of Rural Development and Local Government and works on transport on riverine levels and flooding in areas so prone. The Education Ministry said that as a safety precaution based on the weather conditions which have persisted over the last few hours, the projected overnight rainfall and the present levels of major rivers, all schools in Trinidad will be closed tomorrow, Monday, November 28th. Several parts of the country are inundated by flood water this evening. It comes as a result of more rainfall overnight, causing many rivers to break their banks and water courses to spill over. Evacuation efforts also had to be undertaken earlier. Alessia Boucher has more in this report. The nation was put on alert to expect days of heavy rainfall and the inevitable flooding that accompanies these weather patterns. Saturday, there was the yellow alert, and by Sunday morning, it had heightened to orange, in keeping with the warning by Works and Transport Minister Rohan Sinanan to hope for the best but prepare for the worst. Major water courses have now topped their banks and dinghies and other small craft have replaced cars on the flooded streets of many of the communities. There are the areas prone to flooding, but many who are now marooned are saying that they are experiencing this for the first time, as the country is saturated from weeks of heavy rainfall. Even the well-known prediction by the Met Office that the rainy season will end by November 30th does not seem to be a possibility. We have aerial photos of the flooding across St. Helena as the Karani River and its tributaries washed over the Karani Plains. At ground level, Councillor Samuel Sanka and his rescue team were at Madras Road. He reports rescuing nine people, including a four-year-old child. At Urupun Gardens, Piyako, the water continues to rise. Minister Faris al Rawi was at Real Spring Valley in South, where residents watched and waited as the water slowly crept into their homes despite the sandbags that they stacked to prevent this from happening. Entering people's homes as residents continue to fight as best as possible to try and secure their belongings. At El Carmen, Express photographer Jermaine Cruxian was on hand as residents went door to door with boats to ensure that everyone was safe and transport was provided to those who needed to leave their homes. Residents also reported on Sunday morning that Grand River and Matlot were cut off by fallen trees on the Parium main road. Two vehicles were trapped, but luckily the occupants were rescued unhurt. Alicia Boucher, TV6 News. The Education Ministry said schools in Trinidad will reopen on Tuesday, except where cleanup operations in schools may be necessary. During a news conference held by the government that began at 6.30 this evening, the local government minister said 52 schools had to be closed. The local government minister were evacuations conducted by first responders, as he said, all areas under general watch and management. In Mayaro, Plumita Community Center is open now as an emergency shelter. 